second-hand coat I want a yacht, not a cheap little boat I tell my daddy not to be depressed All I need for happiness is the best I want a dime and nothing else has appeared And when it comes to men, you know how I feel I want a real man Give me a real man, you know what I mean I need <laughs> Laura, you dig it, don't you? You like me in the window. I you like think it's Hey, welcome to Real Men. This is the show where men get real. I'm your host, Tim Steves. We've got a crack staff assembled. Big panel here of expert talkers. We're going to break it down. Let's introduce them. Noam Rosen's here today. Good to see you, Noam. Hi. <laughs> that was cool, Noam. Thanks. And uh, also, Ryan Belleville is joining us. Hello, Tim. How are you? Good to see you, <laughs> Good to see you Ryan. Excellent. John Paul is here. Good to see you, JP. Hi. How are you, Tim? Oh, John Paul pulling out his white guy voice. I like it. <laughs> Lori Elliott dropped in, too. Hi, Lori. Hello. Hello. Good job. Everybody's uh, all fired up and ready to go. And actually, we are going to throw it right back to Lori Elliott to get this segment kicked off with the commentary. Oh, Lore. Bill? Bill, is that you? It's Jim. Jim Geezer. God, it must be, what, 40 years? How am I? Oh, I'm doing great. I just got married three weeks ago. That's right. How'd it happen? Well, get yourself a Kleenex. I was sitting in my home alone three weeks ago, and I thought to myself, you know, I really need a housekeeper, but I don't want to pay for one. So I just hopped on the internet, a point and a click, and voila, bride in a box. <laughs> oh, kids? Oh, yeah. I'm sure my really, 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 really young wife can attest to the fact that I've chased her around and tried to get her pregnant many a times in the last three weeks. <laughs> and who knows, maybe one of the three children she left to come across and marry me is working in one of my overseas factories right now. <laughs> Talk about nepotism. Mail order brides and the whole business of it is shifty. Tim? Yeah, shifty. Okay. It, it's a little on the shifty side. Yep. What do you think there, uh, Gnome? Let's start with the Gnomester. What do you <laughs> think, Gnome? Would you just pick up the phone and order up a wife? No, uh, I wouldn't. And I don't really know anybody who has mail order bride, but uh, I mean, stranger things have happened. I'm not for mail order brides, if that's what we're trying to clear up here. I, I'm, I, I've never run into one. I think it's kind of weird. What about you, JP? I am actually flabbergasted that this stuff actually still exists. Like, I didn't even think it was real, especially in this day and age with the anthrax and the male thing. I'd, I'd be a little wary of a uh, woman coming with some white powder on her. And we ain't talking coke, if you know what I mean. It is a shifty business because it's so, uh, the statistics say that the men that order these women are... Uh, you know, they can be formally married. They're, they're, a lot of them are well-educated. Something like 6% of them have PhDs. They're successful. They've got money. So that leads me to believe that it's a total control and power thing where they, they look for, and, and the whole traditional values. Wow. And well, well, okay, the odds are that, like, it, some, like, ping in uh, Thailand is not really my soulmate. That's the odds. But who's to say that nowadays... Like meeting a total stranger isn't the the perfect way to go. I'm not I'm not denying that the person doesn't have to be your soulmate, but I mean, you know, they can't even like, speak if, you your do, if you did have kids, it's like, how did you meet my mom? <laughs> well, funny you should ask. No, no, you the know? whole thing's wrong. Well, she was exactly. on page 38, and she was looking fine on that. You know, what I mean, it, it doesn't and have to have be wrong. And we want to have children it's, it's, so that they can they can watch and mimic my you know my yeah. behavior and stuff, and see mommy at home in the kitchen. Then you've got Woody Allen, who's got his mail order. Bro oh, I guess that was his daughter. daughter That's bad yeah. example. That's oh, yeah, that was C O D. That was a bad bad. They want to be a postman so I can meet someone special. <laughs> the whole thing's weird. It's like, uh, it's like they've just got the money, and that's all that they think that the relationship's needs or something. Like, why? It's like an arranged marriage between a poor person and a rich person. Is I know a is, guy. You know? <clears throat> I know a guy. I'm not going to name him. <laughs> but I know a dude in Montreal, and I always worried about him. Like, this guy's just never going to get with anyone. I was a little concerned. He's a nice guy, but he just has a hard time. And I'm thinking, man, he's never... So last year, I'm talking to somebody, and they go, yeah, you know, your man, he's, he's got a mail-order bride. 
He's happy as hell. What's wrong with that? It's weird. There's total. I, I think it's there weird. Is That's all you got, Noam. It's, it's weird. It's one of those things where if you, just because you can't have it, <laughs> then you're going to buy it. And it's not, it, people aren't, a, they're not buyable. They're not. <laughs> okay, it's weird and it's people, wrong. People it's weird and wrong. Well, How about that? Commodities. I could understand if it was a pen pal. You know what I mean? Or you yeah. even wrote somebody <laughs> in jail. But I mean, to say that you just, uh, you know what, man, send me what you got. Okay, yeah. but you, you, get, okay, you get this girl who's willing to come over to North America to, to, to marry somebody because they need the money or because they want to marry rich and like just and get, get money country. They get and that's, country. that's, that's totally wrong death. but Anna yeah. Nicole Smith is totally fine and she just hooks up and shacks up with her daddy to well, I don't know her well, well but well, I can speak for on a, uh, you know these people coming from these places where it's like a really crappy life it's like total abuse of power is what it is you know for sure and they want people who are very 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 much behind you know the western civilization they want they Creepy. want people who are behind us with their traditional female values and stuff. They want a submissive woman they can manipulate. Yeah, it Out is. Out of curiosity, total uh, do you bad. have an address for this, this thing at all? Oh, <laughs> just look it up. Mail order bride on the internet. I looked it up all last night, and I was astounded. Also, astounded. A lot of times, these are, these situations are like they have a, they have to stay in the relationship or they have to leave. And there's a lot of rape. There's a lot of forced sex. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of really bad things that happen to these ladies, mm -hmm. you know? And a conditional, uh, it's like a restricted uh, immigration sta immigrant status pass that you get, yeah. where when you come over, no matter how abused or whatever, if you are abused, I'm not saying they all abuse their wives and stuff like that, but if you're in a sticky situation, you can't Just get out of, out of it, time. you gotta go, poof, right back to your country. It is modern to slavery. To that person. That's what that is, it's exactly. modern slavery. Okay, we, yeah. all right, so that's mail order brides as discussed on Real Men. Now, when we come back from this break, we're going to uh, switch it up. We're going to be joined by a very special guest, Jesse. He's a tattoo artist, expert on piercing, and uh, that'll be fun. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to Real Men. We've got an awesome segment planned here. I'm excited. I'm fired up. We have Jesse from Way Cool Tattoos on Queen Street here in Toronto joined us. Hey, Jesse, how you doing, man? Not too bad, how are you? Hey, Jesse. Hey. Thanks for coming in, man. No problem. Anytime. That's cool. So, uh, what? You, Way Cool Tattoos. Yeah, I've been there for uh, four years myself. The shop's been there for almost ten now. Right on. Original Way Cool Tattoos in Toronto. So, uh, show us some of the work, man. It looks amazing. Oh. Here, there, and everywhere. It says unity. I like that. Damn right. Or mutiny. <clears throat> maybe. All the neck. Oh, yeah. Neck. Wow. What about works in progress? You got some works in progress or anything oh, you can too, show us? Too many works in progress. Show us. All right, here we go now. Let's oh, see. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, okay. Wow. I, Not quite finished. Wow. Hurt real bad. I can't. The, yeah. Vengeance. Oh. Vengeance. Does that just hurt like hell, Jesse, or what? Oh, yeah. It does. Yeah. Vengeance. Anybody who tells you otherwise is lying. Right. Tom Fontana at the top of Oz takes that Oz tattoo about 60 times, I think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, we, ha we actually have a, a, a clip. Tracy Ogonoski, one of the most valuable players here in the Real Men team, was uh, trooper enough to get a tattoo mm -hmm. from Jesse earlier today. Let's roll that. Jesse, can you just take us through what we're looking at? Yeah. Okay. Right there, we're just uh, starting to line it. We do the outline first. Tracy? We, we apply a stencil. We uh, outline the tattoo. Right. Then we switch machines and go to a different grouping of needles to do the filling. It goes right. a little quicker. She was sitting real good at this point. I expected her to be flipping around like a fish, but she took it real well. She, she took it like a real man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just working along there. We're probably about halfway done. How long did this take? Took about uh, 45 minutes, all right. told. That's from the very beginning, right. prepping the area. So you, know, you always have to start with the stencil, obviously, huh? Yeah. It, anybody who just tries to go, you never know what you're going to get, and it's just bad policy. We always get something down on paper. Right. That way, the customer knows exactly what they're getting into. Right. That's cool, man. Uh, Ryan, would you, would you have any tattoos, Ryan? I do not have any tattoos. And although I would, I, I would like one, I just have never gotten a tattoo. You would, you would, you would do it, though, eh, Ryan? Would uh, you? Probably, it just you know finding the right design I think is the big thing because I just don't want to find something I want. I want it to be something I go, yeah, that's the one for me. 
Forever. Forever. Yeah. I hear you on that. Like, I can just imagine, you know, the old man who has the this, this skull with a snake coming out of its mouth with a top hat on, like that. Well, you must be just looking at it going, what the hell was I <laughs> Jesse, thinking? Jesse, I mean, what about that? You're, you, we were talking before, you're 25 years old. Mm -hmm. Like, do you worry that, you know, uh, 25 more years from now, you're going to be going, what the hell did I do? You're not no. Too, obviously, you're not concerned. No. The, the, no, that, the, that'll be the least of my concerns when I'm old enough to worry <laughs> about it. Right. Yeah. Do you think that uh, more people are coming in on a trend or some people, because would you say it's a culture, like tattoo and piercing is an actual culture? To the right people it is. But Show us yours, JP. Yeah. Show us yours, man. Oh, uh, this one kind of, I got, um, it's, a, it's a design, pretty much an original design. And, and like Ryan, the reason I got it is because I knew no one would, would have it. Mm -hmm. and, right. Uh, I've, That's I've, cool. Yeah. There were a lot of people go that way, Jesse, with the original thing? Yeah, there's nothing worse than being at a bar or walking into somebody with the same tattoo on them. Yeah. The Tasmanian yeah. devil. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Gnome? Would you, would you ever get a tattoo, Gnome? Uh, I'm looking at Gnome, I'm thinking probably doesn't have a lot of ink. Probably not a lot of tats. <laughs> not a lot of ink done. No, but, um, but I mean, I, I'm neutral on it. I don't care who does what. I mean, it's not my thing, but I mm -hmm. understand the eroticism of it. And to me, it's like pain and eroticism of fashion have always been sort of interlocked anyways, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So, so, so it's the pain that kind of is like, well, that hurt. So The eroticism? Oh, yeah. Eroticism. Absolutely. Can you speak to that, Jesse? What's that about? Oh, the, he made a good point that pain and pleasure are so interwoven. Right. They yeah. always have been. The benefit of tattooing or piercing or any of the other modern body modifications totally. is that you get how a much, fashion how, statement how, how out of it How much of the well. tattooing experience is the getting it done versus just having it you know what I mean? Oh, What's the, more important? It, it should be a, a real good combination of the two. Right. If you're, you, the experience makes a lasting memory. So every time you look at whatever piece you decide you're going to get, you you're going to remember the pain or the pleasure of who did it or Where you what were. was happening on the front or some car accident you saw the next many, day or whatever. How many beers you had that night? Would you ever <laughs> tat anybody we, that, that we, stumbled in? Absolutely not. No. Absolutely not. It, it no, you can't affects that. the judgment. Right. It also right. technically affects everything because you thin out your blood. Oh, no if kidding. If you're bleeding more, you're pushing the pigment to the surface. Right. Go through all that pain and not so get anything to show for it. Those, right. uh, when you see those movies or commercials about guys getting hammered and, hey, man, we were pretty hammered last <laughs> night, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You as like a tattoo guy go, that's such bull. Oh, yeah. There's really? legal issues, yeah. too. You can't just do something on something. Well, we, we have work, a, right? a legal waiver stating that you are not under the influence of alcohol or any Let's, uh, form of illegal drugs. Sorry, Jesse. Let's uh, get you to hang, man. We're going to get Jesse to stay put because when we come back, we're going to talk piercings and Jesse can speak to that as well. Let's see how Tracy made out on the way out. No reason, Jay. Good look. Hey, welcome back to Real Men. This uh, segment is Men in Fashion. So we said, hey, Jesse, hang, man, and uh, hang out. And uh, Jason, one of the guys on the, the Real Men team, has been uh, ballsy enough to say, you know, he'll get a stud put into the tongue. So uh, here we go. This is cool. You've already got everything ready to go, yeah, Jess? we've already had him rinsed with uh, antibacterial mouthwash, felt around for muscle structure and everything, put a dot on, so we're ready to go. He's marked, ready, and loaded. Yeah, that's and it. All right, go ahead. Let's... Push your tongue on out for happens. me. If you're a little squeamish at home, you might want to push, find push, something push, push, else push, push, to watch for 20 seconds. Go easy, panel. Go easy. Push, push, push. All right. It's not oh! Oh! oh, my goodness. Oh. How you doing? You doing all right? Uh-huh. Push, 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 push. <laughs> There's supposed to be so much blood. Oh my, that is oh definitely a piercing of the God. tongue. You know, I expected more blood. Jason's a trooper, man. I expected him to back Push. out. Almost done, all right? Jason's supposed to be crying like that? <laughs> oh that man, is that is wild. Absolutely disgusting. Hey, Try man. to enjoy the pain. You doing all right. okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, Jason, how's it feel, man? You're okay? Yeah, it's all right. It's all right? Not bad? Not bad. Not so bad? Is no. that is that uh, how slick Still and quick standing. they usually are, Jesse, right there? Yeah, we try to make them as quick and painless as possible. That's pretty cool, man. Jump into the couch for us. We'll talk to you some more. Jay, man. Here wow. You go, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 This man knows his tools. He does. I I try. Try. That's amazing, man. Yeah. <laughs> Every 
everything's all that right. That is wild, dude. Wow. Yep, was that, so that was pretty much, that's it. That's, that's it. Jeez. What does he have to do to maintain stuff. it? You didn't even break a oh, sweat. I, I think Jason might have broken a sweat, yeah, though. Yeah, like, <laughs> I broke a sweat. I broke a as sweat. As far as taking care of it, real straightforward yeah. stuff. Just rinse, rinse, rinse with a mouthwash. Mm -hmm. Lots of ice. Lots ice. of ice. And no kissy Eating kissy ice. for a little while. Yeah. No that's the downside. Uh, Is he going to wake up tomorrow hurting? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, but now he can really do oral sex better. Is that how it works? No. It doesn't mean you Not can do no. it. Uh, no. A stud in your tongue ain't going to give you no skills, baby. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, if you, if, you don't if you don't have it to begin with, tongue, tongue ring ain't going to help. Gonna help. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know where to find things yeah. before yeah. the stud, you're not going to... Gnome was considering getting his tongue pierced. He was like, oh, it doesn't make a difference? All right, then. Well, who cares then? Although maybe if you got like your tongue stud and she got her like clitoris pierced and then they got it magnetized, then you'd never have trouble finding it again. Wow! Wow! Yeah, those crazy gotta, theories are being dropped on us today. But then you got to keep a set of wire cutters brain. beside the bed because if you get all hooked if you get up, yeah. together, there's gonna you know it's, that's it's pretty embarrassing. It's gonna be a funny phone yeah. call. To now, I was yeah. expecting more blood. Why Me wasn't too. there a, a lot of blood? Because it's mostly muscle. It's like pure muscle, isn't it? The tongue? No, it's not pure muscle. Of We're course, piercing through the fatty tissue. Of course. And since the needle and jewelry are the same same thickness what happens is as the needle breaks the tissue the tissue goes into shock and starts in, to inflame immediately so it blocks by it. the time the jewelry's gone through the tongue's already clamping down on itself so there's not enough room for blood wow, wow. Yeah. interesting and you can't talk deep. properly for a while right no you sound, sound like you're little... drunk for a while yeah. oh wow, wow. Yeah. So really? Jason might as well get a buzz on tonight. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because it's just not drink, drink anyway. Like drink I'm a towel on and start Yeah, you want to stay away from any <laughs> fermented alcohols like you know beer or anything with a lot of yeast in it because that's going to theoretically cause some problems later. What on. what right. should what should be the diet uh, regime for the next few days for Jason? Any? Lots of soups, soups, lots of mashed potatoes. So just so the same as if you if you had an injury. <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh yeah, same as getting your teeth out or <laughs> yeah. you know anything like any time going to the dentist. What exactly. What's the strangest? Uh, what's oh, no smoking. No smoking. No smoking. No smoking. No no smoking. Yeah. Okay. What's the strangest thing you've ever the strangest request you've had in the piercing department? Uh, I once had a gentleman, I put 45 rings into his scrotum. 45 rings into the scrotum. Yeah. How long did that take? Say that with me, class at home. An existing. How long oh did that take? Uh, it was an accumulation of about four hours of work. Wow. Did he have a lot of keys or something? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> he was a janitor, that guy. Always, always sounded like he had a pocket full of change. He was going to hang oh curtains through yeah. it. Did he explain why he wanted 45 rings oh, in no, his scrotum? Oh, no, that was 45 in addition to many, many, many How many do you had. think he had Yeah, in he had total? a feeling it wasn't his first 45. Point, 150, wow. probably 150, Wow. Why? Dude, now, why? Are there I, any health it, risks there, man? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Get one one infection, all of a sudden, all 45 are infected. That's it. You gotta you cut them like all Christmas off. lights. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas no, lights. One, one, one yeah, burns Christmas out. Your scrotum lights. is like a domino effect. Now that yeah, sound, like that sound that it made when the when the thing went through the tongue, uh -huh. uh, that was a horrible sound. I just thought you should know that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It took a lot of practice getting that sound just right. Just right, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so, wait, do, do, were you ever squeamish the first time you ever, I mean, because you've got to be pretty worried that, you oh, know, yeah. what, what if you, you have a twitch or, I mean, if you're epileptic or something, you can't be, you know, <laughs> piercing people. No, yeah, it, it was nerve wracking at the beginning. And, and, and you, you got your Johnson done, didn't you? Uh, cool. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Now, now, well, I hear you got one, too. JP <laughs> and <laughs> Jesse both, he can does. we get a two shot there? I mean, JP and don't Jesse both <laughs> with their Johnsons <laughs> pierced, man, I don't know. No, like I yeah. think that's why they put us both on the same couch. Here. I think that's so. Right. They, they, they're thinking they're going to get a little pixel action oh, happening. Oh man! Maybe do you uh, do you have uh, something in when you're having sex? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it, no, I, I'm I leave it in constantly. It's there all the time. Yeah. Did you have wild. to dip it in alcohol when you uh, got it done to lots sterilize of, it? Lots of uh, salt baths. <laughs> salt yeah, baths. We're all, okay. Hold on, JP. Save that question, and we'll, we'll start with you when we come back. we got a couple more minutes with uh, Jesse from Way Cool Tattoos. Let's go out on oh, it. Where's Jason? Bad. Let's get a shot at Jason as we go out. We're, we're going to come right back. Don't go away. More with yeah, Jesse. Not, when we return here, no. get in here, man. That's it. How's it going? <laughs> How's it feel, dude? You all right? Yeah, it's not bad. Whoa. That's cool. Wow. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, welcome back to Real Men. 
Jesse from Way Cool Tattoos has been here today, and that was that was way cool, man. Jason, mm -hmm. <laughs> Jason's tongue pierced. Uh, JP, you had a question during the break for Jesse. Go ahead. The question I had was uh, obviously everyone said you got your Johnson pierce, and I got my Johnson pierce, and. Uh, I, I pierced it myself. Like, how dangerous was that? Well, you, not knowing exactly what you pierced, it's really hard for me to say. <laughs> Let's hear what you what? what did you pierce, JP? Where on the hand? Uh, Draw a diagram. The, the Achilles tendon of my, like, right underneath the head. Right, that, like little, that little, you know, that that little, little strip. You could have, you, nothing could have happened to you. You know, you <laughs> might have grown out, you might have got a little scar, a little something, but. Can you, yeah, I think I'm, to worry I'm, about I'm, that. Is that where yours is done, Jesse? No. Can, what, you, can you describe what's, what he you got going? He has a harpoon going? through his. <laughs> Good way of putting it. Right <laughs> horizontally through the head. Through the head. Or it. Yeah, I wow. saw, kind yeah, like man, I saw a dude at a resort in Jamaica, you know, uh, yeah. the, the after hours hot tub vibe, you know, and this guy walked in with that. It was like, I never, I was mind blowing yeah. to look at even. You know? wow. I mean, it, it was just like, holy crap, man. I mean, does how it, much does that hurt, you know? Does, does it actually oh, make sex better? like hell. Yeah, it makes sex a lot better. Really? It does yeah. make sex a lot does better. It, uh, what about the woman? Is she like, ooh, oh, no, she whoa, like ooh, ooh. Much yeah. better. Uh, much yeah? Better. I feel yeah. women are wow. curious about it. See, like yours, with the thing through, it looks like an intersection. Mine's all right, because it's like a hoop. It's, uh -huh. It looks like a little door knocker for my penis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Knock it, come in. Okay, wait, Jesse, I got a question, though, because I, I had a science teacher once who had this whole concept about just he wanted to streamline his own body, take uh -huh. out two fists of his liver, a kidney, a lung, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, is that a little obsessive to you? Yeah, but that's the way it's going. That's the way it's going. Yeah. Yeah. 20 years from now, nobody yeah. will be talking about tattooing or piercing anymore. Because body modification is getting so yeah. freaky. Yeah. fingers and yeah. what kind of... Uh, implants, computer chips, and whatnot. Computer got chips. I can't wait for that. I'll be the first one in line. What about all those like jailhouse tattoos, like the, those symbols that mean, like, if you have a teardrop underneath, that means you've murdered someone. Like, would you, if someone came in and asked you, and you possibly thought that they could have killed someone, would you do it? No. We got 15 seconds. Jailhouse tattoos are for jail. We don't, okay. we don't I don't do think they ask tattoos. either. You don't do the jailhouse tats. <laughs> nope. That's all the nope. time. Thanks so much, Jesse. That was really yeah, cool. That was one. way cool, dude. Yeah. Thanks for watching Real Men. This is the show where men get real. Late, we're out.